Well, to the Consumer Electronics Show that has just wrapped up in Las Vegas now. Tech giants Google and Apple did not attend the event, but their absence left the floor open for smaller firms to be showcased. And some Canadian companies grabbed attention at the Gadget Show. Louise Martin is here with the details. Mm. So, you know, it's always nice when we talk about Canadians yes. grabbing attention. Exactly what took place. Well, f more than ever for Canadian companies, CES is probably playing a more vital role than ever before. After all, this is a huge trade show, gets lots of attention. If you've ever been there, it's absolutely crazy. I mean, the, the, the place where it's held is just huge and it's packed with people wanting to see the latest trends. So, uh, you know, they're, they're trying to outdo the big players, right? Some of the smaller Canadian companies. Uh, they say this is where their products receive coverage in a number of media outlets. This includes influential U.S. podcasts and attention from potential uh, partners. Obviously, RIM is one of the biggest Canadian players at the show, but the company's products were left off most of the list, the, mo the hottest list this year. It launched its new software update for the playbook, but a lot of analysts say that was uh, too little too late. So sadly for RIM, uh, CES wasn't the, the headline maker that perhaps it hoped it, it has been or would be, has been in the past at least. So which firms actually found the show to be a big boost for them? Well, for a lot of firms, it's not all about the glitz and glam. It's about their products and how they work. And although the flat screen TVs, of course, were all over the place, those super skinny TVs, I'll have more on that later, <laughs> uh, a lot of the buzz that some of the Canadians companies got were from a lot of the people on the ground looking at some of these products. So Toronto-based Surf Easy is one of them, used the show to unveil its secure web browsing USB key. Uh, so when this is plugged in, the device lets a user store all of uh, their bookmarks, history, all your passwords, so that was one of them. Gentech International, a Canadian company, has been exhibiting at a show for more than 20 years. It distributes and imports everything from iPhone cases to headphones and really stresses the trade aspect of the show. Uh, Sound Selecta was one of the 100 startups actually featured at the show. Design feature, a cutting edge technology. The company creates a art jam line of apps which turn Apple devices into soundboards so you can mix your own music. So a lot of these maybe smaller, unheard of Canadian firms really look to CES to make their names known and make a real uh, impact at the show and hope that some people obviously want to buy their products. Okay, Louise, thank you for this. You're welcome.